Greetings, greetings. My name is Elena Ra and I'm just here to tune in and to say hi, heaven hi to everybody. Um, we're just reaching the, uh, the end now of um, January. January has been quite a month and um, Mercury has gone into retrograde and we've got the full moon on Monday. So lots of different energy streams are, um, are happening around us, passing by, moving through us, as well as um, tapping into this unconscious field around us of human consciousness, particularly if you live in a city. So there's a lot of that sort of thing that's happening. Uh, where on a personal level, I feel as if I'm being um, encouraged to hold a state of well-being and I'm realizing it's very important now for for us to hold a vibration of well-being and light energy so when I say light I'm talking about density as well as um, luminosity to hold a vibration that will um, um, hold us in good stead for whenever anything happens and as we all know life does not wait for something to happen. If there's going to be death in the family or illness or loss or bereavement or whatever, life doesn't wait until you're ready for something like that. It just happens. So I see that in a way as an initiation. And I think what we, what I'm realizing anyway, is we, um, life initiates us into our becoming. And sometimes that can be a rude awakening. And sometimes we can step up to that if we, on a soul level, we are ready. So um, I definitely call 2015 the year of initiation. And this means for us to initiate ourselves and each other into our fullest uh, version of ourselves and, and, and into our becoming. And there are various times of the month that um, are great times for initiation and for releasing or for celebration or acknowledging who you really are. New moon, full moon, birthdays, anniversaries, um, you know, and, and other celestial events that may be happening through the year. So this is a really important thing to be aware of this year, to create ceremony and initiation um, so we can have a rites of passage so we don't wait until something happens either you know um, in society or in our families or in our own life that trip us up so if we continue to self-initiate by being mindful by sitting within ourselves and being aware of our own inner ecology most of all holding a state of well-being Personally speaking, I'm just aware that what I used to do before is that I, I know how I'm feeling when I wake up in the morning. Um, I can pick up what what's happening, but I'm actually realizing that sometimes it's not actually how I'm feeling. It's something that I'm tapping into, the unconscious field outside of me. And I might, um, you know, um, get a little bit too close to that energy whereby then I become it. And then that affects my sense of well-being. So... For me, what I find is important is to find time to be still uh, so I can just listen uh, and, and so I can allow my energy to fall into my heart and get out of the mind. Another wonderful thing is to listen to music that really encourages you to sit into your heart and that way your heart then becomes a place of prayer which allows you to differentiate what's yours and what's not yours. And, you know, and of course, um, when your heart becomes a place of prayer, that is um, where grace occurs and surrender. So that's a beautiful thing. So that's part of the podcast. And I really just encourage you to, um, to, to move through um, um, various um, energy streams in that way by maintaining and, and, and being your own caretaker, looking after yourself, maintaining, maintaining and sustaining that state of, 
of well-being and um, mindfully creating ceremony and initiation as you acknowledge um, aspects that have been left unattended so you can in a in a um, ceremonial way actually create space for you to surrender these things symbolically as well by either writing things down and burning them or bringing something from the past and burying it in a in a ceremonial way where you're actually um, I'm saying to yourself without a shadow of a doubt that I now let go of this for my highest good and all those around me. So there's that. Um, what I will also um, share, which is something that was quite interesting today, is that in pop culture there's this phrase that uh, people say, um, I'll try and get into character, which is Yo, representing, representing, representing. You know what I mean? Representing. Representing what? <laughs> and when people say that, it is generally a mask. It's a persona, and it's and it's 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 um, a group persona representing a certain style that isn't necessarily theirs. It's something that um, you know because if you're part of a group. Of people and you're representing and there's power in that and protection but nonetheless it is a mask and what I realized is that um, I was having a conversation with someone and I said you know what what you're actually doing is you are presenting so in other words you are just being all of you you're not representing you're presenting as you are right and that is when people are attracted to that in a really interesting way and I feel I present I don't try and be like anybody else I just present as is however that is including my human part of me that I may struggle with from time to time and some people find that difficult and don't understand how I can be vulnerable and yet I can be this person who's spiritual and, and holds all this wisdom but yet nonetheless I am presenting from a human perspective, from an emotional perspective, and from a spiritual perspective, right? So I'm not representing anything. I'm not even representing the new age or being spiritual or anything like that. I'm just presenting as I am, naked and true. For those people who are representing, you know, representing, it's like talk to the hand, you know, I don't know you, you don't know me. <laughs> why is that because they're representing and they're not actually presenting um so let us present as we are let us present in all our glory and and and, and all our magnificence you know because to present just to just allow your soul to present itself then what we actually meet is presents presence that exists within each and every one of us and that is that God presence the God presence that resides in in each and every one of us and it's that presence that has it's magnetic it's enigmatic it's um, it has gravitas it's not you trying to be anybody else it's just you just getting out of the way in terms of the ego so you can be present so the presence can come forth it really is quite an amazing thing and i think the more of us that show up in that way and become present and present and open up to um for the for the presence for that beautiful presence to come through then more of us, then that becomes the fashion. Not that I'm saying it should be a, a fashion, but it becomes the status quo rather than people following fashion or, or, or models or whatever. Because freedom is found where you can just present exactly how you are. And it's something really beautiful because it opens up for your own create, creativity. So you can actually uh, be all that you are how you would like to be so I'll leave that with you 
<laughs> present present the presence allow the presence to present itself so all can be seen a place that is open naked and true a place that has integrity where you show up from the inside out this is the time and from what I said earlier about initiation and being self-initiated into life rather than allowing life to come and, and initiate you, which can often feel like a rude awakening, is to know how much work we've done on ourselves and that we have gone through a variety of initiations, come of age, certain things have come, their time has come and gone, but also to know who resides within us. Know the difference between ego, mind, mind, body, and that presence. Yeah. And so we can become more and more mindful of who we present to the world. And we become, and also to become more aware of when we present and when we represent. So when we fall out of grace with ourselves. Yeah. And we, because when we begin to represent, then in a way we're not being um, in integrity of ourselves and we're, and we're choosing to be part of the herd rather than to be who we truly are. Okay, so I love you. Um, I wish you well. Um, and with all, all, all these incredible energies that are happening, and I know it can be really confusing, um, Mercury retrograde in particular can be where um, things that you would have been clear on before are no longer clear or don't feel clear. So that's why we're encouraged not to make decisions at that time in times like that or to sign contracts because it, it's difficult to know. So, um, you know, but if you do allow yourself to um, sit in your heart, whatever brings you to that place, if that's being in nature or, or, or listening to sacred music, you know, so you can have your heart become a place of prayer because these energies can also bring discordant energies can make you feel discordant within yourself and irritable and you know you can become ungrounded um, anger and a variety of things um, emotions can start coming through and they throw you as well as throw other people so if as much as you can just sit in that place of your heart and um, you know um, and allow grace to come through and you can bear witness to what is and what isn't all right I love you much my name is Elena Ra until the next time be well be you be present allow the presence to come through because how beautiful do you dare to be well, well let's put it this way how beautiful are you do you know how beautiful you are? That's even better, right? Do you know how beautiful you are? Do you know how amazing you are? In fact, you are so amazing beyond words. And we need each other as mirrors to reflect these aspects of ourselves back to us, at, particularly at times when we forget. You are awesome, you are amazing. Your heart is brim to overflowing of abundance and kindness and courage and strength and beauty and creativity. Never second guess yourself. You are amazing. And my name is Elena Ra and I love you. Mwah. Peace and love. Ra star. <laughs> Bye.